Hey everyone, welcome to home school and coming to class 8th chapter 4 that is metals and non-metals. Already I covered two videos on a chapter. Video links are provided in the description. You can go and check it out if you have not yet watched. And coming to today's session, here we are going to discuss about reaction of metals and non-metals with water and the reaction of metals and non-metals with acids. That's the most important reaction, concentrate. And today I'm going to show you the beautiful visuals, watch and enjoy. Okay, so the first reaction I'll go with is reaction of, I, I think actually this is a second reaction. First reaction is already over in the previous uh, class, right? That is reaction of metals and non-metals with oxygen. That's over. Now this is our second reaction. Reaction of metals and non-metals with water. With water. Okay. So, this is what the reaction. You know what? Sodium or potassium. There are some metals which are very, very reactive. Among the reactive metals category, sodium and potassium comes sodium potassium so these guys are really very reactive they are very very reactive so much reactive that the moment you put a piece of sodium or potassium in water you will immediately observe fire that much violent reactions they will give okay so the first point that i would like to write here is Sodium and potassium, these guys are more reactive, more reactive and their reaction with water, their reaction with water is violent. So, what do you mean by violent or I can also say that vigorous. So, both meanings are same, violent or vigorous means the reaction is very, very dangerous. When they react with water, the reaction is very, very dangerous. You know what? They catch fire, catch fire, right? So, you will understand this once you see the visual. So, now let's see the visual how sodium and potassium can be reactive with water. The moment you put in a water, it reacts with water as well as with oxygen in the atmosphere and it reacts in a violent way. Okay, so let's watch the visual now. Hey guys, observe sodium with water reaction. Uh, this was a container where water was taken and now as soon as sodium is dipped in this water, see what's going to happen. See slowly it is reacting with water. You can see uh, lots of smoke coming outside. See lots of heat gets liberated and you can observe the flame and see how violent the reaction is. Now another situation. See how it is burning. Right? Another situation. See it will burn. You will observe fire. He has put sodium and closed the lid. See the fire inside the beaker. Right? So, this is how sodium violently or vigorously reacts with water. So, highly dangerous reaction is sodium with water. See this? He has put sodium and he is closing that. See? It burst. It will burst. So, this is what the reaction of sodium with water. The reaction is really very very violent. That is the reason it is always kept under kerosene okay so once it gets exposed it will react this way with uh, oxygen and water fine so that hope you enjoyed watching visual right how sodium and potassium reacted with water right so that is the reason since they are very much reactive with uh, water and air they are stored in kerosene they are they means what? Sodium and potassium are stored under kerosene. Okay. 
clear so this is very very important so very important question they'll ask you why sodium and potassium are stored in kerosene the answer is you know because they are very much reactive they catch fire when they react with water and oxygen so they are stored under kerosene okay fine and usually you know what this is so this is the symbol for sodium this is sodium what would have happened when you put it in water so generally when sodium was put in water you will get a new substance called sodium hydroxide so its name is sodium hydroxide along with the sodium hydroxide you will get hydrogen gas this is the reason why you will observe fire so that's the reason because of hydrogen gas is produced the reaction is dangerous we say the reaction is dangerous we say okay here and, and, and not only that large amount of heat can be liberated so when this guy is reacting with this automatically large heat is liberated you are not heating from outside heat is automatically liberates and that heat uh, you know because of this heat present this hydrogen gas catches fire okay so that is what happened during a reaction right okay so this is how metals react with water see not all metals react in this way only sodium and potassium reacts this violently but metals like iron magnesium will not react that much violently with water okay fine and coming to non metals remember non metals do not react with water so this sentence is very important to understand non metals do not react with water okay but even some non metals are very dangerous non metals like phosphorus phosphorus is there no phosphorus violently reacts with air violently reacts with air okay that means it will catch fire when it reacts with air it will catch fire that's the reason this phosphorus is always stored in water okay so uh, the pure phosphorus when you exposed to atmosphere it may violently very dangerously can react with air catching fire so it is always stored in water okay but generally non metals do not react with water only metals can react with water and few react very very violently like sodium and potassium and few metals like iron okay uh, magnesium you know these metals do not they, they react with water but their reaction is not violent okay not violent in the sense uh, it's not that dangerous like you have observed with sodium right so this is all about reaction of metals and non metals with water and now we will learn about reaction of metals with acids so that is also beautiful uh, uh, reaction one must understand it carefully okay see guys reaction of metals and non metals with acids see generally non metals okay remember a point that non metals generally do not react with acids do not react with acids okay so you all know some general acids right so acids can you give some examples of acids hydrochloric acid hcl is there what do you mean by hcl hydrochloric acid right and we have another important acid called h2so4 we call this as sulfuric acid so there are many acids but i am just mentioning you uh, the common acids that we use it in a chemistry labs that is hcl and h2so4 right so with those acids normally our non metals do not react but metals react with acids 
metals react with acids this is very very important and how do they react with acids how they react with acids observe any metal any metal you take you can take uh, iron zinc aluminium magnesium sodium potassium calcium any metal okay so any metal when it reacts with acid okay what you will get is some salt plus hydrogen gas some salt and hydrogen gas you will get okay for example example i am showing you the example zinc this is called as zinc zinc is a metal and example for acid let me take hcl okay so when zinc reacts with hcl you will get zncl2 this is zinc chloride you will call this as zinc chloride you know what how to write formulas for chemical compounds is what you will learn it in next year that is in class 9 okay so now no need to worry only few chemical reactions are there that if you can remember it's enough so how did i write zncl2 you know the logic behind this you will learn in class 9 okay so this is called as zinc chloride and you know this is one of the variety of salt salt means it is not always nacl there are so many types of salts so this is also comes under salt category okay so along with this you will observe hydrogen gas what is this hydrogen gas okay fine so any metal when reacts with acid some salt and hydrogen gas is formed and now how do you know that this is hydrogen gas right say gas will not have any color right say uh, for example imagine i have zinc granules zinc is a solid available in small small beads i took zinc beads and i added acid okay so you you will immediately observe some gas coming outside but how do you prove that this is hydrogen gas when you keep burning candle right when burning candle is kept near hydrogen gas it burns with pop sound it burns with pop sound pop means what pat 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 sound okay so that is what we mean by pop sound right so uh, to confirm whether this is hydrogen gas or not i'll keep a burning candle so this burns with pat sound okay so that confirms that this is hydrogen gas other gases like carbon dioxide nitrogen and all will not burn with pop sound only hydrogen burns with pop sound when you keep a burning candle near it okay so let's watch beautiful visual on this particular reaction also okay let's observe how uh, a burning candle can be kept near hydrogen gas okay see guys how acids can react with metals see this is the metal zinc that is taken in a bowl and this one this transparent liquid is hydrochloric acid and this is our sulfuric acid okay and now this person puts the zinc into both the acids and let us see what's going to happen okay he has put zinc in both acids see you can see some gas coming outside right there is some reaction happening and the gas is coming outside and this gas is nothing but our hydrogen gas now he is going to test whether this is hydrogen gas or not with a match stick so you can observe when match stick was held into a gas it's burning more right it is catching fire fire is becoming more and it burns with pop sound actually here you can't hear that pop sound that chat 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 sound will come when it burns okay see even here he is testing with the burning candle so you can see the flame has become more right so this is how our acids react with metals so once again you can observe see he has put 
the metals into our acids and now it will burn right this gas is tested with matchstick and uh, you see the moment you bring the matchstick near to the gas it's burning more with pop sound it will burn so that's how this this indicates that the gas coming outside is hydrogen gas so that's all about acids reacting with metals see guys that is all about reaction of metals and non metals with acids right so in my next class let us learn about very very important type of reaction called displacement reaction okay and this is the special reaction only for metals okay so let's understand everything about displacement reaction along with a visual so don't forget to watch my next video and do subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in a easiest way and in a detailed way thank you so much meet you all in the next video